Hi everyone, I'm Myrna Melgar. I want to show you today how to make perfect Salvadorian pupusas, as perfect as my Salvadorian grandmas. And I'm going to teach you a cheater way so that your pupusas will come out perfect every time without uh, years of practicing. So um, I have my dough here already made. Um, I got it um, from the Luckies at Lakeshore. Um, it is in the flower food section. It's called Maseca. And you just put water in it to reconstitute. I like to use warm water because it makes the dough easier to handle. So along with my dough, I already have prepared the cheese filling. Um, I have the instructions and all the ingredients on the, on the detailed instructions if you click on see more under the title of this YouTube video. Um, the cheese I put through a food processor and put a little bit of flavoring and a little bit of half and half to make it doughy, but it's very easy. So, uh, pupusas are the national dish of El Salvador, which is where I was born. Uh, they have found remnants in Mayan archeological sites as early as 900 BC. So it's an ancient food, but it's very simple and it's very comforting. So today we're making cheese, but really in El Salvador, they put anything inside. You can put shrimp or pork, or if you're a vegan, you can put squash. Squash blossoms right now in San Francisco during the summer, those are available. So, um, you know, once you know how to make them, then you can be creative and put anything you like inside them. So what I've done is that I've taken a, a ball of my dough and flattened a little bit. Watch the edges. If the edges are nice and smooth, your dough is ready to go and it's not going to ooze out the cheese filling. Um, if you see that it's cracking a little bit, then you want to add a little more water to your dough. But mine is great. It's ready to go. Uh, flatten it till it covers the palm of your hand and then take a little bit of your cheese filling, enough to uh, cover to the dough. So I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. And then what you do is you gently uh, take the edges of the corn dough and you pull them over the cheese filling like this uh, until it's like a dumpling. And then you flatten it. And this is the part that is um, a cheater way. Um, so you take a Ziploc bag, it can be a quart size bag or a gallon size bag, and you put your dough on it and then very gently just press down until the whole thing is about a quarter of an inch thick. Some folks like them thicker, some folks like them thinner, but uh, my family likes medium. So here it is, this is what it looks like. So then what you do is you just turn it over and then very gently peel off the bag and ta-da, you have a perfect pupusa. And then you can throw it on the grill. Um, I have one that I made earlier. Let me show you what it looks like. After about three minutes on each side, you just wanna turn it over. Uh, you will see there's little um, brown dots. Um, and this one is starting to ooze. Uh, the cheese filling a little bit and uh, the house just smells delicious. Um, that is how you make a Salvadorian pupusa. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please try it. They're very easy to make and very comforting. So from my family to yours, um, enjoy. Thank you.